again i wish you know uh i have you again in uh, the western region it's going to be like this and so to you brain fitness coach dr counselor lizette berry out there in ghana good afternoon to you i know this is your domain equally this weekend we celebrate persons living with mental health across the globe and again my focus persons that's caregivers those supporting this persons living with mental health mental health has to do you know those whose brains are not functioning like the normal human being will function you understand so that's it there you know what it means you know what it means and again to those who are already in the advanced stage of you know mental disorder you understand those picking papers singing alone dancing when there is no song no music playing around those picking the papers by the roadside you understand those who are you know sleeping in the slums and gutters and they feel so good those who are moving you know with uh uh what's that uh uh, dresses in shreds you understand from up to down you understand everything down is empty up is empty those are the persons we see theirs have crossed you know the normal you, know, you understand so please if you are living around somebody who is already you know uh depicting good signs of mental health the earlier you rush to you know psychologists the better medical you know doctors dealing in mental health and of course, counselors, if I may say, can, uh, all the brain fitness coaches and so on, run to them so that it doesn't get to, you know, they picking papers on the roadside. And again, for those who are already picking papers, that's going to be my focus this afternoon and the girls. I don't know what they're thinking, but I want to believe it's high time. If we don't have it, we start creating centers to accommodate this huge crowd of, you know, those picking papers by the roadside, working and talking alone. No person is with them. Only them. You understand? They understand what they are talking and who they are communicating with. Others walking and in the middle of the road, you just stop and start doing some signs in the air, drawing on the the ground <laughs> these are them and dry cough on board how do we deal with it we're going to talk about that this afternoon uh, and again uh business you know i'm so excited to hear what mariko is going to talk on innovative ideas this afternoon mariko guess what i think um anyway let me keep it
should they do? Okay, well, you mean with the family many, members? Many don't know. Yes, they, they, they can go to the centers point. exactly cool. like we we're saying earlier. They don't that know. they can go to centers. We have uh, the one I know particularly. You can find out for the rest maybe. But the one I know is in Yaoundé, so mm. you can find out, take your family member there because I personally had a case in hand and uh, it's true this centre didn't do the, the whole job because this thing, it's there are many hands that will mm. come together. We have prayers, we have uh, uh, what I said earlier, the family has to be always available for this person. Mm. Yes, make them to understand that you are there. Some people go to the extent of taking them to fetish homes. Yeah, that's another yeah. one. Yes, they do. And some even get solutions there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when you have someone and you are really frustrated, honestly, you will knock even the door that you couldn't imagine in your life to, to knock at. So, Miss B, what generally should be done, honestly, is that begin from hospital. That's let the hospital Good. really confirm that this is this man or this woman is insane. Ah, prayers. Yes, then. then you go now with prayers or you go with you, what you believe in because we're not just there people yeah. all here that prayer yeah. whatever thing you believe in just go there and try but remember you can go to some and they add the madness mm -hmm. so just think of all those things when you're going thank you very much miss b once again courage to all these family okay. members that are going on all of this thank you all right miss b i don't know if we sh i should just move into the uh, innovative yeah, ideas it goes straight mm -hmm. to innovative all right ideas. time is already this we'll is not talk too much we'll do something very light innovative idea the first thing is that with this business in fact you're already employed you are your own boss one thing that's the first thing you are your own boss if you're looking for a job since Casa mango, or how do you call it? Kashi mango, bush mango, <laughs> bush mango, wild mango, as we call it here. It can serve you mm. as a source of revenue. You can do your business through it. You can equally transform this thing into juice if you have it in abundance. And you're you're surely asking yourself, oh my, I'm going to lose this thing because all of it is all ripe at the same time, and I don't have buyers. Transform it into juice and sell it or drink it at home. But you can equally sell because the problem is generally conservation. Mm -hmm. So you can get closer to people who are into natural juices. And then you get what they put in their uh, juice, their natural juice. And then aside that, even on the cosmetic aspect, you can equally have this juice serve you on your face. You know, I've told you once here that tomatoes, fresh tomatoes could help you have your smooth face back. Mm -hmm. Onions can do. So why not wild mango? So just put it on your face if you have issues your face you have a lot of uh, maybe rashes or something just use it and tell us how you felt then the last but not the least you can plant the seeds you can use the seeds as well don't just eat the seeds and just throw away and keep going back to orchards and buying from from people in the farms mm. you can yourself become uh, why not a supplier Thank you. Why not a supplier can we can as well dry? Exactly. You no, know, you can dry and produce powder. Mm, you no, know, yeah. many people don't know that. Exactly. Is that true? Yes, Miss B is true. The type Not that bad. So we should learn to make uh, the difference between things the way you look at things. Thank you so much, Auntie Abinda. Thank you, Mariko. It's oh, not okay, good. Even if it's your husband, you. Binda. No, no, no. Even if it's your husband. You, you are, are not for it. Your husband. And so what? It's your first family. And so what? <laughs> uh, let me so tell you, your family will come and marry you. And so what? If you marry if people that have gone into <laughs> marriage and have left the marriage, are they not surviving? They're surviving. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, Miss, for that answer. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.